Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we will be reviewing this camping pad. It's a sleeping pad. This is Monkey's pad. She done a review on it and so I'm going to do one too and see if I like it and if I do I'm going to get one so stick around I'll tell you a little bit more about this thing. Okay guys, so she bought this, it just says camping pad, um, it was $22.09 and um, comes with a user manual, tells you how to inflate it, and uh, in a couple different languages, several different languages, this is all how to inflate it. Okay, yeah, see, so, um, and of course deflation, so this is ours right here, inflation and deflation, um, it's also got a patch kit in here, and it says, you get this little card, it says, you are our special guest, and on the back, it says, hey dear, Thanks for choosing us. <clears throat> Want to earn $20 gift card for your next Amazon purchase? Only two steps. Leave a five-star photo review and send a screenshot to rebate gift card at wapitmail.com. W-A-P-I-T-I-M-A-I-L. Uh, <clears throat> you will receive a $20 gift card when you re when the review is confirmed enjoy your shopping with us thank you so that's kind of cool that's it's not very big it's very light I don't know I don't have on me how much this thing weighs but it is very light I would say oh man I don't know um, I don't have my fish scale in here let me get my fish scale and I'll tell you how much it weighs okay I'm back screen looks a little dark to me for some reason but it's my new camera but um it's the same exact thing as the other one it's just newer so all right let's go ahead and we'll get this turned on there's on i got it on pounds let's see if it'll read anything on the pounds it might Okay, 1.69 pounds. So I guess to some backpackers that would be pretty heavy. But uh, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it doesn't feel like it weighs over a pound. But a little over a pound and a half. So uh, let's put this on. Oh, so it weighs... Let's see here. Put it on kilograms, so we've got it on kilo. That's what it is, 765 kilos. So, yeah, it's pretty light. I mean, <clears throat> so it's 27 ounces. So that's, I mean, that's not bad. No, it's got something on here. I'm not sure what this is. 1.53. That little thing down at the bottom. Um, so anyway. Oops. Alright. Let's get this out here. Let's open this up. You just uh, push a little thing here. Now, Monkey did her review on this. She had trouble finding the pump. I had to show her where the pump was because... I was out back working on the tractor and mowing and I came in and she had my she had my <coughs> air hose stuffed into the pillow hole going, it won't blow up. And I mean, you know, just no air going into it, of course, but <laughs> so it's supposed to have a built-in pump. 
right, so let's get this over here. We'll roll it out and uh, we'll get it pumped up and we'll see if I like it. She, she, uh, she seems to like it a lot, so you know, we'll, I'll know uh, once I lay on it and find out. So let's get this over here and get it pumped up. Okay, so let's roll this out here. Um, I'm sorry I don't know much about this thing, but it's got the building for a foot pump, so that's pretty good. Now up here, this is your pillow, so you want to you want to close this. Just close that like that. Close that like that. <clears throat> Down at the foot end is your foot pump. Okay, so once you pump it up, you'll close this. Now, this is how you pump it up, but I'm thinking if you have this on the ground like this, it may not suck in the right amount of air, so. Uh, but she did it, so let's try it like this. Let me move you. There, maybe that's a little better for you. Now, just gonna start pumping it up here. I think she said it's supposed to take like 30 seconds. Let me get the thing and I'll read it to you. Okay, inflation. Where's ours? Ensure the ground area is clear and free from objects. Lay the sleeping pad out flat on the ground. Before inflating, ensure that deflation valve on the pillow is closed tightly. We've done that. Open inflation valve on the foot pump and inflate your inflate with your foot do not over inflate quick foot quick foot the pump can be fully inflated in 30 seconds close the inflation valve okay so it what it's showing on here is that it's flipped over this way like I was thinking. Like this so it can suck air in better. I'm just going to fast forward this while I'm pumping it up and you'll see it raise up let me widen you out here a little bit all right all right here we go lay down on this thing and see see how well this well this feels like all right make sure you're in the shot here all right
Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Not bad. She said she couldn't feel her hips digging in, and I can't either, so that's good. And this is this is a ceramic tile floor, so with of course concrete under that, so it doesn't get much harder than this. So you know, we're in Florida, so out in the sand and stuff, and the bottom of the tent. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. The pillow is pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, I think this will be alright. Cool. So, that's the uh, hair dryer in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. It's a lot comfortable, a lot more comfortable than. Oh yeah, laying on the ground. So took longer than 30 seconds to pump it up. Of course, I can't go really fast because of my leg issue. But I mean, you know, what's the big deal, really? You can get a pump. You can get those battery-powered pumps if you want, but uh, it didn't really take that long. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, I think it's a good idea to have that pump in the foot or down here at the foot. I, I think it's a great idea to have the pump there in case you do have a battery powered pump and you forget it or your batteries go dead. It's a great idea. Uh, so, so far, two thumbs up. I think, uh, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to get me one too. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty good, so. All right, now let's deflate it. So now to deflate it, just uh, up here in the pillow, just pull your little deal out there, just like that, poof. Now, we're gonna start down at the other end, and we're gonna roll this up. Let's see how it's Okay. Let me see here. Go. now we're just going to roll this up there's snaps along here I forgot to mention that every few inches so I'm going to snap these as we go along I'm just going to go ahead and snap these, the last two. Let's put this in the bag. Okay, so we're up here at the table again. And let's go ahead and stuff this down in the bag. 
Um, I don't like these things. I mean, I think they could do a better job than that. You know what I mean? It's not a deer deal breaker by any means. It's just, you know, I know it's just a bag, but still. Have some pride in your sewing, you know? And yes, I can sew, actually. So. Oh, there it is. And you just put it in there. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. All right, final thought time. So, yeah, is it worth $22? I think so. I mean, uh, they have these out there, two and $300, you know? Self-inflating ones. Of course, they have the ones you just whew, grab a bunch of air and roll it up. But I think it's well worth it. I'm, I'm going to give it a two thumbs up. I think I'm going to order me one. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. She she got a good find here, and then is this little? Uh, can you see their little round? These are the little patches they give you in case you spring a hole, which I'm sure I would. I'm sure monkey will, but so I'll stick this down in here for the way she had it. So there you go. Uh, two thumbs up for me so far. We'll have to let you know on the rigidity and. You know, like in a few months, how well is it doing? I mean, not just for camping, but, you know, sleepover and stuff when your kids have friends over and stuff, right, Monk? Yes, for grandbabies, <laughs> but up here. But, yeah, so, um, you know, pump it up and let them plow on it. If it gets a hole in it, you're out 20 bucks, you know, so what? Uh, I know that's a lot of money to some people. It's a lot of money to us, but, I mean, you know... For if you get one good night's sleep out of it, there's many nights uh, I would have gave twenty dollars just to be able to be comfortable on that ground. You know, I don't want to sleep in a, in a, in, in, you know, in a uh, in a motel and stuff. I like sleeping in the tent, but I'm getting older now. Monkey's getting older, and uh, though she doesn't look like it, she's still very pretty. But uh, uh, I would have gladly, you know, rented one of these off somebody for twenty bucks. Like the last night we were camping last weekend, I was, because uh, well, I had a rock in my way, which if I had this, I probably would have never known it. But so I had to either sleep on one side of the rock or the other because the tent was already set up when I found it, so I couldn't get under there to get it. But uh, yeah, I would have gave $20 to rent one of these for a night. So anyway, there you go. Um, I had just this camping pad. You know what company it is or anything? No, it's just cut. That's exactly. Oh, what wait a minute. Said. Yeah, it said the uh, Winna, whatever. Uh, rebate gift card at Wapit Mail. Wapiti Mail. I don't know. Maybe that's the company name. Can you read that? No, it's made in China. Oh, that's okay. There it is. I thought maybe that. So was the name yeah. That so <laughs> so uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. So that being said, I'm gonna say Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, you know, uh, I know I don't uh, mention things like this all, a lot, but just you know, if you would keep my family in your thoughts, you know. So, uh, but uh, anyway, I appreciate everything. Appreciate all your guys' support. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week and a better weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye, bye, guys, and take care.